This short tutorial is how to encode media for TV22 based on parameters given to you by Colorado Media Center. So I'm using Adobe Media Encoder, and the reason I'm using Media Encoder instead of Premiere is that Premiere is great if you are exporting one movie that you've edited. However, if you need to encode multiple videos from multiple different sources, by far, Adobe Media Encoder is going to be more efficient because you can stack your media over here, you can create a preset, and you can apply that preset to everything, and then before you encode anything, you can have a list of you know 20 videos sitting here, and then when you're ready, you can just start everything and then walk away and go about your day or whatever. You don't have to watch the progress bar go one at a time. So I would highly recommend using Media Encoder. And by the way, Premiere Pro has largely the same settings. So if you do have a one-off video but that you have put together and you've edited and you want to apply the same uh, parameters to upon export, it operates very much the same way with the exception that you can't create a queue. So first thing I'm going to do is import media. I'm going to go to Finder and import some media here. Drag and drop. There's another way you can add just by clicking the plus sign. It'll open a finder window and um, kind of same difference, but I actually just prefer to open a finder window and drag and drop it. And um, if you're using Explorer, it's the same thing. You just open an Explorer window and drag and drop your media. So I'm gonna just pull over a couple here. So you can stack multiple movies just as I've done here. And the next thing we're gonna do, actually we're gonna create the preset. So I'm gonna go up to preset, create encoding preset, and set it to H.264, and uncheck the uh, width and height because they need to be 1920 by 1080, so you wanna specify 1920 by 1080. And depending on uh, your settings in media encoder, you might have to unlock the aspect ratio lock here, but in my case, 1920 by 1080 is already there. And so some of the other uh, parameters are a two pass VBR, and then we want to set the minimum or the target bit rate to three, and the maximum bit rate, I'm going to just say to five. It's still very low and should render a a pretty small final product. So next we're going to go to audio and change the sample rate from 48 kilobits to 32 kilobits. I think that's all. Let's check your list. So we got the 1920 by 1080 H.264, 3 megabits per second to achieve, yeah, VBR encoding with two paths. We got that. Audio at 320 kilobits, got that. All right. So the naming convention we'll take care of later, but this um, this is our preset that you want to name it to uh, TV22. Go ahead and say OK. And at this point, you can click on the drop down menu and change it to TV22 for all the media that you add. And once you build your preset, you don't have to do it again. The final step is to go in and uh, rename your media. So in this case, I think that I would go with a MVP and then underscore, and then I could just, I don't have episodes or anything like that. So I'll just uh, start with MVP, and then you wanna specify where it goes. So I'm just gonna send it to the movies folder and then file format is going to be mp4 tap save and then I would repeat that for each one of these and at this point all you have to do is tap start and your computer will render all the movies sequentially so now all the movies have been encoded. 
and it took probably about an hour to do all of these, but I did not have to spend time monitoring it and loading up a new one and waiting until it's finished, etc. So it's a lot more efficient to do it this way. And if I go to Finder and my Movies folder, I will find all of my movies uh, re-rendered here, and they are significantly smaller now that they have been encoded using the TV22 preset that I created using the specs from CNC.